That's pretty cool how it silhouettes the outside of those buildings, isn't it? Like, just in the distance. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We are back at the hospital again today. And what I want to do this episode is finish off everything that we've done so far like completely polish it up so when we move on to the next part we don't need to keep remembering oh yeah i need to do that oh yeah i need to do that just just get it finished get the lighting done get the floor if you want to put some detail on the floor get it done uh, seating all that kind of stuff let's go over to a and e where we were in the last episode that we were here and as you can see this hallway blank nothing going on a lot of this area we're going to fill with like these these little wooden, or not wooden ones, these ones, these little um, chairs, probably some tables as well. Fill out the area. Are we using oak? Yes, we're using oak. So uh, I, I want something sort of nice, maybe a, a table, um, maybe like a little mini, almost like a mini reception area even could work there. Yeah, couch. Anything that staff sit on is red. Anything that people sit on is... Um, uh, that sort of brownie colour. I don't know what colour you'd call it. Pressure plate. Painting. Okay, so we've got a computer. In fact, let's move that over. So we can still see the chair. So we've got a computer on here. Uh, that goes there. Maybe a little, little book to go on there. Just so like they can sign people in when they're coming in the ambulance. That's crashed. That was probably, it was me, wasn't it? I would have crashed that, absolutely. So then we can have... Well, I don't want too many chairs up here, but this is sort of almost a private area, isn't it? You're not going to get the public down here too much. But that works out quite well there. Uh, and not skulls. I don't think skulls would really work as a... Uh, <laughs> uh, as a, a fun painting to have in a hospital i want to fill the walls up nicely yeah they're perfect just fills that up down there really well uh we'll get like some bookshelves just to go behind here uh, probably just those you can sort of see them from back here yeah like a little filing cabinet that works out well in here we're all good in there we're all good we just sort of reversed it let's get a little painting on the wall there and there just makes it look a little bit nice when you're coming through uh let's slab we'll change the brick here to these just makes them stand out a little bit more i think that's sort of a nice way to sort of signify an opening as well yeah all the way through makes it a little bit more uniform let's close that up that'll neaten up that corner take that out put that there okay i want this is an area that we're like the overspill of um, a and e so when a and e does fill up they can come out here they have a little bit more room um i'm gonna make the i think i'm gonna make them three wide here like this i think that i think that works quite well We'll have, oops, we'll have some tables on the end. Well, I don't know if we even need the table. Do we, I don't think I want the tables here. This is over. It's nice to have tables in there because like you can put like their coffees and drinks on and stuff. But this is only overspill. And I think it looks weird with the table sort of sitting on the end. Uh, I do think, though, that a little rug would work well in here. Do I want to go with red? I suppose so. Red and white. Like we could do something like this. I usually do like a random approach to when I do carpets. You guys have you know seen I sort of try and uh, not make a pattern out of them. But I think in this case, I suppose because it's long and thin, it would be better if it had a had an actual sort of shape to it going up there. I think that works. It just sort of makes it a little bit more busy in here if we can get i need to just leave a painting on my hotbar because we're going to be placing down a lot of them today let's get like painting on there that works out well uh, i'd like a tv some oh that works well though not mcdonald's 
think just get some paintings down here. I'm not bothered if they're spaced out correctly or anything like that, really. Oh, yeah, TV. We'll have a TV in there. Not that one. Not that one. Oops, should have done that one. I want to do that sort of there, though. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 Yes. Cool. Uh, shelves. I don't know if I should really put shelves down in here, but we're going to have a look at it. I think just underneath some of the um, paintings. Let's let's put them under the paintings and see what if we like it there. Not under the TV one though. I don't even care like that the shelves aren't like spaced out evenly. I don't think it's going to really make a difference when we look down there. You know, I think that looks okay. It might not be the most sensible of things to have, like, literally head height. But at least if someone bashes their head on a shelf, they're literally in the right place. Um, I think I think it's probably a good shout. Okay, uh, we have no night vision on. So this is now natural lighting. I think we're all lit up down here. We're nicely lit up in here. I think we're correctly lit up in here. Get a little carpet going down in there. Maybe I should, I should move it over by one. Why do I... I always seem to do things like this. One block out. There we go. Little carpet behind there. Just looks quite neat. And I think I'm going to put little carpets in front of these things. I think it just signifies that you're meant to stand there in a way. A little... Little rug on there. Yeah, why not? Uh, very unhygienic to have rugs in hospitals. I don't think I don't think you'll find rugs anywhere in hospitals. Um, however, because it's just Minecraft, it doesn't really matter as much, and it also just fills up. Um, it m makes a whole like hallways and areas look better if you just got a little bit of carpet on the floor. It's because it's Minecraft is why we sort of need it. Okay, lighting in here. This is gonna be um the problem i think i'm gonna run this across here that's this is this block here is gonna break up the snow and the brick it also goes in because it's the same blocks that we've got on the windows but i i just never like how you can sort of this transition never works but putting a block between it we don't need to put the glass on it because that would look weird but i think that just works also maybe gives us a spot to put some lighting as well now the christmas tree actually is helping a little bit with this but i think we're gonna have to do carpet so we can actually put some lighting underneath it um i think that's sort of the 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 must have thing in here so if we could work out a nice almost cascade like 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 rainbow i don't mean rainbow color carpet I mean rainbow as in uh, like shape. I think if we'd done, I'm trying to try and match this up now without getting it wrong. I think that's right. I think that's good. Okay, so we have, it's okay. I just hit the minimize button. If we stick glowstone down in here, this should solve the lighting issue at the front of this room. Because we've got nowhere to stick lights on above, you see. We've got no ceiling uh, to put like nice fluorescent lights or, or the glowstone that we've been using in the hallways here. Um, because there isn't one to put it on. Now, I think we'll go with a, a checker pattern. But only that we can... Only where we can place them, so it'd be like this. Uh, oh, check and pattern sort of goes. No, that doesn't look right, does it? That doesn't look good at all. What if we had red as the dominant, and then white sort of edges on it? I suppose we could just go with all red, but oh no, that's not meant to be there. Uh, 
Is that right? I think that's right. I think that looks okay. So that's definitely... Look, look. It's lit up this area fine. If I walked in here, I would be fine with the amount of lighting on this side of the building. However, this side of the room, not so much. I've got ceiling that we could put some lighting on. We could definitely stick some glowstone in here. Apart from it sort of goes even like that. We could sort of knock it back though. Let's have a look. If we done some glow stuff, well, let's line it up with the elevators to begin with. The elevator paintings there. Okay, I think I like that being there. I just, I don't think it's enough lighting. But we've got a nice straight stretch here to put some glowstone down in. And in fact, if we do this to so many elevators um i can't do it to elevator to elevator so let's do it from one up before the stairs to one after the stairs set glowstone okay a little bit of darkness in there but we'll see if we can solve that one with the same carpet as we've got sort of over there oh it doesn't it doesn't do the math right. Of course it wouldn't. Okay, let's... Let's do a normal check of one here then. The checker looks quite good actually. I, I, I like the checker. I like the standard checker. I like the normal checker. I think that looks pretty cool as you sort of come around as well. It's almost like it directs you to the stairs as well. Like you can use them to, to get to the stairs. But now we've just got this area. A little bit dark on the floor. It'd be nice if we could just light this up a little bit. Do we go with another carpet? Do we try and do something else? There isn't, there isn't really much option for us. Like, I can't even put glowstone there. Look, it doesn't light it up. It doesn't do anything. Um... Where'd Glowstone go? Let's put this down here. We'll do the extended check pattern, the two by two one. Yeah, okay. I think I think it works. Where does it start? It starts on this one. That one, that one, and that one. Perfect. So when we back away, I think this this room, main part of the room, dark over there, remember that, is pretty good. I think we're okay in here now, yeah? So let's start neatening it up. We'll get some uh, couches. I need the other type. I need this one. We'll have some seats, maybe like nice three wide ones along there, and a couple of two wide ones. Oh, hmm. I don't like that. Beautiful. I think a nice couple of little plants in here would work well. Trap doors. We'll use uh, we'll use these ones. Leaves. Pop those on there. They don't get in the way as we're walking through the door, but you can see them. It's nice that it's a different green to the uh, Christmas tree as well. I think that works really well. Yep. Painting. I told you I should not get rid of it from my hot bar. I should just leave it on there. Uh yeah, perfect, perfect. Really, really nice. A little dark along the top here, isn't it? Would it be would it be wrong to stick some fluorescent lights underneath here? If we had it in an uh, with a sort of a nice gap between them. Yeah, I think that works. I think it sort of lights it up quite nicely. So that's uh in line with the rug is the first one. 
<laughs> Trying to carefully do it. There was one block in between. Yeah, I think that's really quite cool. Do we do it here as well? We sort of line them up with the other ones. I think I think so. We use, we're trying to sort of combine all of these lights together. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. I don't need that there. I know that's a shop. I know that these are toilets. Uh, we need a floor that comes through here. I need them to be full blocks. Apparently neither of those were. So I'll put this down here. I'm doing this just to fill up a little gap that sort of pokes down. Look right here. So we'll just put this this uh, walkway down. It's nice. It's nice that we've we've sort of done a widespread with this project, and we've tried to get sort of go uh, go as wide as we can earlier on, and and get like the wards done and the A and E done. But if you go too far ahead, you just end up at the end of the. Uh, oh no, that is meant to be slabs, isn't it? It's meant to be slabs on this part, though. Oops. Ah. Um, fluorescent. You can't middle click those. If you middle click fluorescence, you actually get a different kind of fluorescent look. Boop. No, it's different. It's smaller. It's very strange. I don't understand it, and I never have, and I never will. Um. Oh no. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna have to remove this. Otherwise, it's gonna look wrong everywhere else. But it's just gonna be a little funky bit that we might have to. If we don't like, we'll have to cover it up. I'll show you. Put this like this. Goes down here. And see that? We've got this sort of this sort of uh quartz edge on there, which looks really weird. But I can't delete them and make them to brick because you'll see it from the top side. Unless we cleverly try and hide it with carpet. Or I could take this block out and make that into a quartz block. You can't see that from up here. And then it sort of rounds off and you can't really tell all that much. That works too. Your other option would be to put slabs like that. But I think that looks quite ugly. No, I don't, I don't like that option. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go with that. Uh, we'll have... A nice glowstone rug going down here. Uh, carpet. Like that. Works nicely. Um, anywhere else in this area that needs to be cleaned up or brightened up. The back of the stairs may be a little bit dark, but... Is it? Would it be right to light them up in any way? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I should really probably put some chairs and stuff down here. Just a little bit like that. Just while you're, you're waiting maybe for uh, someone to come out of the, the bathroom. We'll worry about doing toilets and the shop at a later date. We're just sort of finishing off today rather than sort of starting new parts. Uh, that's meant to have some lights above it. It's meant to be like there and there, isn't it? Hey, is that showing through in the floor above? Oh, it is. Okay, that doesn't matter though. I forgot about that. Um, that doesn't matter though because we'll have a carpet there, won't we? We'll have probably a, a three wide carpet. So it'd probably be like this is how we'll do it. That's not right. Uh, where does it go? Does it go from, from barrier to barrier? It does. Ah. I was doing so well. Okay, that's fine. That's fine up there. I'm not going to worry about this part because we haven't actually done the rooms to it. Um, 
and we can't really tell from down here would really like some lighting up there that maybe we do this no let's let's worry about the ground floor for the minute we'll worry about the next floors up in a, in a little bit it's just uh, this is a little tricky sort of thing to do we're all good in here the wards are complete that we just need to add we've got chairs and everything going down here that's fine maybe at the end here a little plant wouldn't go amiss another one of our plants i don't need night vision potion for sure I'm trying to get rid of stuff that i probably aren't going to need probably not the one oops probably not the one deed i don't need the one now Just so when you look down there, there's something a little bit interesting. Should it be in the corner though? Should probably be there, shouldn't it? Make it aesthetically pleasing wise, that's better. Uh, that ward's also the same, and this just needs to be complete. So we're, we're all good down here. Um, I don't need any seats on this hallway, not when we've got a nice, uh, like a nice waiting area down there. Okay, so we're we're done on this floor. Let's uh, let's work on some lighting up here now. It's the wrong kind of fluorescent. So if we could line up these fluorescents there, that works out nice. Not really for any beneficial kind of lighting, but it is lighting up the. Oh, perfect! That's in line with the stairs and everything. It is lighting up the underside of the sort of the ceiling, which is quite important. Yeah, I think that looks it looks very um, uh, like 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 clean when you sort of look up at the sky and you can see all this. I think I like it sort of on the corner there as well. Like that. I think it's on that one. Yeah. Maybe a three one in there as well. Yeah. Okay. Really bringing it all out. Uh, this the actual ceiling itself. We don't need to light up. I don't think. I don't think it really makes that much sense. I don't really want to draw attention to the ceiling. I don't think it's an interesting enough looking ceiling. Why would you want to look at the ceiling of a hospital? It doesn't really make sense, does it? Okay, well, what we've done now that we've done that, we should really do along here, so we can get some little chairs going along there. I need I need those signs there because otherwise I will forget. Uh, in fact, let's um, let's just move it up so I I don't I don't lose it. Burn unit. I don't know how I'm gonna do. Like how I'm going to make the interior of it look like it's a burn ward or burn unit. But we'll, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Also, that is wasted space. Let's just block it off. Let's just block it off. We'll have it like this. I'll worry about what's up there in a little bit. And then we'll have probably another plant. Trap door. As I've said, many, many, many. Oh, I've got more already many 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 times in the past doing doing any kind of interiors and it works for exteriors is if you're going to do uh an interior make sure you've got like theme things for us so like we've got plants up here we've got them down there we just put one in the hallway like the same chairs the same tables just it, it thematic it theme, theme thematical thematical there's a word there's a word that actually works with that um you you need to have a, a theme going throughout otherwise it just it's just weird it, it looks a, a jumble of all kinds of different stairs and slabs and stuff keep the colors the same uh, it might makes it might might be obvious to a lot of people um but maybe to some new builders and you know people that are trying to uh, get better at it that's one of the tips that are, are really underrated and always forgotten about is is just keep keep themes throughout of it What's that say? Plastic surgery. I suppose we could um, just keep the signs above the doors if we capitalize everything properly. Like the sign, there's no reason why the sign couldn't be there, I suppose. 
Yeah. Okay. Lighting down here. Very dark. Can't put glowstone in. Because it, it, it's going to come through the bottom here. Well, I suppose I could. Mm, no, not really. Um, so we're going to have to be a little bit more creative with it. They do have... Like these little lamps I have I completely forgot about, but that could work. Um but maybe it's just best like a if you can sort of put them in spots where you think, oh yeah, that would make sense for it to be, like above the lights here. I think that works. I think that's good. I don't want to look I don't want to look like a mass of these though, so I'm being a little bit delicate. We're already getting it's already getting to that point where it looks like it's a lot of these blocks. But it's such a big building, you need a lot of them just to light it up. I think we're good though. I think we're done. We've caught up everywhere that is completed with blocks. Like there's no paintings anywhere that would uh, fill some spaces. I'm still not sure on the stairs down here. Um, I could put like chairs down this hallway. But I think this would be more of a, an emergency hallway for like um, people on like uh, what are they called like stretchers. You know them wheel stretchers as they come down. Weeky, 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 weeky. On the way to the wards. That was an impression of a squeaky wheel on one of them. <laughs> I suppose it works on this part just because of how it was fours and fours yeah okay let's run this along here that goes too thin there to be able to get it right and then it's uh was it every two blocks every two blocks so we have two and then we have Glowstone, then we have one, two, glowstone, one, two, glowstone. Oh, good. I wouldn't mind a one wide, but two wides are better, but a one wide above here wouldn't. Yeah, oh, go on then. Well, now we've got three out of four. We might as well um, make all four of them be two wide ones. There, look at that. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there guys. I think we're really caught up. I think that's good uh, There will be little cleaning cupboards. There's nowhere where it looks like painfully dark or, or that it's sort of unfinished um, Apart from the areas that we haven't done like down here uh, Slab Sort of keep this slab thing that we had going on at the beginning of the episode carry on down there I might even make them two blocks wide Like that I know there's no doors on it, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Um, all right, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe. Maybe we should put some more plants in a couple of spots, but um, I think all in all we're pretty okay. Maybe some plants could go here. On the okay, let's just do that. Hold on, hold on. Don't leave me yet. We'll put one here. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe like a little a little puff one, a little puff ball one. I was my I always like I always imagine when I do them with just one block that these are round, which is why I called it like a puff ball. Because in my head, like I just see like a little round bush on top of there instead of being square. Yeah, that works. It just sort of brings that like up a bit. That'll be there. Will be anyway eventually. All right, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.